I literally just woke up and um, I can only just wake up in the middle of the night because this is how I am. And then I see this one. <laughs> this kid's will really show us drama. What is this? Oh my god. And um, if you watched the vlog on um because it's literally going up on friday morning and this will probably go up on a monday or friday or thursday uh, at eight so if you are i don't know what can i say if you are if you've watched let me show you what happened to my cat in yep they all got out of the whatsapp group they're like you know what we can't handle this that side is too heavy so Sisiapa we give up because they refuse to hold or carry their weight so Sisi had to talk quite responsible for nobody so my room is a complete mess with curtains all over the floor and curtain roads and yeah hopefully it's more should be fixed can't sleep like this no more <laughs> hello guys so it's actually night <laughs> my ring light is on Dinah is right here trying to wear her socks on her own and yeah look at my wig i literally actually i've never cut the lace on my own so this is my first time ever and i'm really proud of myself look at that makeup look by the time you're watching this video i'll have already done um a video on how i achieved this um eyeshadow look it's nothing complex but for me it's a bit extra because of that green line <laughs> yeah and um i think that's that so right now we actually just want to go um feed dinah and then mommy can come back after we fed dinah dinah needs to go to bed and then i need to do two videos one for styling and one for um you'll just, you'll just see them so you'll see this look and then you'll know that it's that day yeah so basically that's that and then um i want to do probably if i still have energy a few tiktoks here and there and maybe editing of the video that for this because it's going up on monday i think other than that that's that and um we'll see you guys when i can see you next because today's saturday evening so it's more chill and i'm gonna be reading my book till late in the evening no mov movies tonight and then um tomorrow is basketball practice so Hopefully, we'll see you then. Yeah. So, bye. Hi, guys. I know I had actually tapped out um, earlier, but um, now is when I'm finishing to film. It's like 10.30, and um, my face is so clean and so healthy right now. I'm so happy about it. Um, so, I'm actually heading to bed right now to just catch up with my kabuk there and till like midnight and then i am in bed till tomorrow for basketball and um i'm actually i have to be up maybe by eight to bake my brother and his wife a cake because if you know that i am supposed to have done it a long time ago but they are coming tomorrow so that so that will be actually um easier and i'm gonna do it for them today i mean tomorrow morning when i do wake up so because it's it's not like a lot of work and then they're coming in the afternoon so the only reason i couldn't have done it like maybe from 11 is because i'll probably be training for basketball i don't know if my dad has told the guy not to come or, or he's still coming so if he's coming we have to train because we didn't even train last week so i think we might have to train this week and yeah so right now um depending on whether the laptop is occupied or not i am thinking of actually taking um the laptop and editing the video for monday and uploading it if not i will do it tomorrow and upload it as well and then um hopefully this vlog will go up on 
Thursday. Yeah, because I've actually done three videos today. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. To be very honest, I am super duper proud of myself. I've done a good job today. I've worked my booty off. <laughs> yeah, so um, basically that's that. I'm looking around because I'm like, I need to clear this area before I go to bed. And if I don't, I won't sleep well. So I need to clear. It's just a few things here and there. And I was looking at pictures from the camera that I was taking. And I'm like, oh my God, today I looked. Today I really locked. Hey, lock. I'm not even going to see what I'll see. Come on, jacket, man. Is that what? Hey. Yeah. So, um, oh, I want to tell you guys, I have realized I have this. Um, I've been telling you I've been struggling with mental health. And I realized I have this abandonment phobia. Do, I'll, I'll go do research into it and then I tell you what exactly that is. Anyway, I gotta go. It's it's bedtime and a girl has got to go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully, I'll take you guys as I bake the cake. We'll do it with you and with Dinah, I guess, because she'll she she's always up by seven. So yeah. Anyway, bye. Hi guys, it is actually Sunday. It's a few minutes to one p.m. Today I've just done a lot of tidying up. I know I'm always tidying up. Yeah, so that's what I've done, and right now I want to go bake the cake and put it in the oven and then come and shower and i have a pile of clothes that i used yesterday for shooting i want to put that back in the hanger and organize that stuff other than that um let's go bake a cake i'm not gonna it's not a tutorial really you guys are just gonna probably see me doing it but yeah let's go to the kitchen hi guys so i am checking in i'm actually in our study room so i'm actually editing the video and it's um it's almost done actually so i just want to um it's rendering the last bit and then i can upload it and schedule it for tomorrow maybe i think i should just stick with my usual 9 a.m 
and then um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do and i create a short preview for after it has uploaded of course i'm gonna create a short preview for instagram as well as um tiktok and facebook my other platforms yeah basically that's that so we're almost done i'm so excited i'm so proud of myself and then um from tomorrow or later tonight if i still have the energy and the side i'm gonna start editing the thursday video i have so much content i think this is gonna be the thursday video because i want to be doing at least a vlog a week like what my week has been about and things like that and this week i have just started learning how to try and um i totally have issues with like abandonment so i'm the type of person who like over gives and i've been reading something and it's kind of coming from a place of i do not want to be left i do not want to be alone so i give so much so much that i don't receive and then um when someone acts does not act the same and a friend of mine and i were having this discussion of late and we're talking about it and i was telling her um i realize i have it as well and she's telling me she also feels like she has it because people around her don't feel the need to give her the energy that she's giving them because they feel like oh she likes me this much okay i don't have to prove myself that's the thing i don't have to prove myself to them and this like goes on to like it pours out into all kinds of relationships we have in our lives with like the romantic relationships and um friendships and things like that like you overdo it so these people don't feel like they need to prove themselves because they're like ah she likes us either way you know so they don't over try to impress you and that could uh, not be a good thing because now when you you feel like you're falling down and people are not there to hold you you feel like you've been wasting your efforts but to be very honest it's something we need to deal with as ourselves so for me i've actually realized this weekend i was like oh my god i can really resonate with that and probably can have this discussion with a psychologist at some point because i would really want to understand um yeah and how could it have come i don't know maybe it started from like my past my previous relationships i don't know um friendships i've had i rarely lose friends and if i have lost friends they're like people i consider losing friends like two people and i felt like the, we were really close and then like when it ended i was so shocked like how can such a good friendship end like that like for the smallest of reasons like i'm normally not a petty human being, so i was so shook and i was so heartbroken and it made me cry a lot a lot a lot like different one one situation made me like really cry because i was so hard i was like how 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 i've been doing my best i mean you know i was so hard and then you know i allowed i learned how to let it go but then also i realized it happens in my relationships like i stay in a relationship for such a long time even when i know i'm not getting what i should be getting i stay and i stay until the time i'm really sure because first of all i hate regrets so it's costing me a lot financially mentally emotionally it's really costing me a lot and it's not worth it but anyway that's not important that's not okay it's very important but that's not something i wanted to really like get into deeply today so right now i just want to um finish up with this i want to press upload and then i can leave this room and then i can go to my um actually i'm exporting first then uploading so i need to export it and then go downstairs look at my cakes my cakes actually they came out really nice a bit burnt at the top because someone moved it from we have an oven outside so from the outside over to the inside one and then they put it too close to the like top part so we got a bit burnt but it's gonna be fine and then if we do have some whipping cream in the house i'm gonna whip up something small and put it on the cake and then serve it to the guests before they leave still early lord on a talk around seven because cafe is still nine so it's okay yeah anyway i hope you guys are having a great time a great week because when i upload this it's gonna be thursday one more day to the end of the week i hope you guys are excited whoop, 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 whoop. what do you guys use your weekends for me me i use them for re-strategizing and looking at how my weeks have been so my business is starting on 13th of september so every friday we do have a meeting a virtual meeting for now so we discuss what we need to do we discuss our new ideas we discuss how we're gonna spend and all that advertising and things like that so that's what we mostly do on fridays and then for me 
Sunday is when I plan out my week. So I look at the kind of content I have written down because I, ha I always have like content put down. So I look at what I need to be shooting and then I distribute the days when I'm going to shoot. So if it's Monday, if it's this, yeah, it's a new concept. I've always wanted to do it, but I didn't follow through with it. But then now, because I've become a bit more consistent, I'm actually really proud of myself. So we're going to do that. I'm going to be posting like that and then from this week so probably you've already watched so from this week actually my brother starts school and my mom is not gonna be around so i'm the one to put him in the classes and he's it's virtual so i need to be up early back to normal back to factory settings his classes normally start at uh, around nine so i need to be up by seven like i used to be when he went on holiday, I decided to also go on holiday as well. But then now that he's back, so I need to be up by later seven, go work out a bit. So I need to get back to my working out. I was actually working out to gain weight. And imagine I actually like gained like two kgs from like working out. And that's that was impressive because Mimi and gaining weight is like an uphill. It is so hard for me to gain weight. But I made peace with that and I'm just trying to um eat better and work out because i just first things first i need to be healthy i feel like that's the most important thing to me to just be very very healthy and to be um let me just name the video what is it eyeshadow eyeshadow yeah so um it's exporting to the device yeah so what was I saying? I was saying that it's very important for me to be healthy because I want to be able to keep up with my child. And then um, I want to get into something, some thingies, like a club or something for guys who ride bikes. So I want to see if I can try that because we do have bikes here. And they're very important for us to keep riding and keep healthy and keep fit. Like my dad works out like three times a week and he's in his 50s and I'm like, oh, he's the most fit person in this house. So... It's a challenge for us. So, yeah, I think let's just go and ice that cake and then I can bid you guys buy properly. Yeah, bye. Oh, don't, not buy. Stay here till we done. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, when I was going to, um, to do the icing, my cake, I mean, my icing was actually, like, it went bad. So, um... I couldn't use it anymore and I'm disappointed because I was really looking forward to doing that. Maybe I'll do it. I'll go get some more whip, whipping cream later. But for now, I cannot. And it's okay. So, yeah, let me just do some something else. Maybe try. Let me take it. We have this machine. Yeah. My mom got. Uh, sewing machine so we've been trying to learn how to use it and that's what probably the next video is going to be about so please stay tuned i have so much lined up for you guys being wendy is just going to be crazy going to be fun it's about learning it's about trying to do new things because i'm really really open-minded to doing new things because in my life i have learned that i was just my friend of mine don't only have your papers to fall back on have skills like my one of my best friends is called Nelly Ndoti. Ndoti's mother always like at the, for them Kimaliza form for the mom has to enroll you in something that you need to do like with your hands. So her sister is a good baker and Nelly is actually like she can sew clothes and make clothes. And I was like this is such an interesting way of parenting that I had not been exposed to because so many um African parents believe in the traditional way Maliza Shule Ingia campus nini nini and the funny thing is the sister is actually doing her masters and Nelly just finished her undergrad so you see it's it's amazing like you still get to go to school but on the other side you need to have something to fall back on just in case this doesn't work because guess what so many times we hear people have been retrenched, people have been fired. Like now it's COVID time. People have lost their jobs. And you know what is coming out to prove that is actually helpful? It's people who've been in business. Some people who like are doing handy stuff, people who are making masks, people who like wash online clothes and decide to make masks. How do we benefit COVID? Because they've made stuff and I'm like, yes, 
yes 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 and we're gonna be here for a read so yeah that's something i love to do i love to learn how to do things with my own hands i can bake cakes very well it's just that i really um when i couldn't bake anymore i was so heartbroken that i didn't even want to bake for like home consumption but i'm getting back to it and i'm falling in love with it as well and i'm also open to teaching people but not now i want to come up with like a whole curriculum of some sort yeah hopefully by like 2021 next year i could do a few lessons here and there with people and yeah basically that's that so guys i need to go mm, it's been a crazy time i'm happy i've i've had a good what can i say i've just had a good um week not the best but it's been very productive and i thank god for that because my goal is to be as productive and as consistent as possible in all aspects of my life and i'm slowly pulling that together so please make sure book your dates for 13th september 13th september we're going all in my company starts my small business opens and launches and i'm very very excited so please keep it being bendy and yeah follow me on all my platforms i mean stalk me until you cannot stalk anymore <laughs> yeah thank you so much for being here bye guys i hope you guys remember to feel the fear and do it anyway and also your mental health is your responsibility as well and then remember covid is still here so you need to sanitize regularly and clean your hands all the time social distancing should be a thing that is now a norm and then finally is wear your mask and dispose it appropriately remember to cut it after you're done just before you dispose it yeah thanks